Howdy campers and welcome to your sixth REST API tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your express routes. Okay, just one quick thing before we get started. You'll have seen me in the last couple of tutorials do something like this, node index. And I'd run that every time we made a change so that it ran this index file again in node, it started up the server and listened to requests. Now, if we're making a lot of changes, it gets really tiresome cancelling out of the process and then writing node index again to restart the server. It gets really boring really quickly. So instead, what I'm going to do is install a package which can kind of take away that from us. And this package is called nodemon. So I'm going to say npm install nodemon. And I'm going to save it to our dependencies, but not to our normal dependencies, but to our dev dependencies, because this isn't a dependency that is required for the application to run. It's just a dependency that is going to speed up our development process. So do that and hit enter. Cool. So once that's installed, we can just write nodemon index, hit enter. This is going to do the same thing. It's going to run the index file and we can see it says now listening for requests. However, now when we make a change to the code, we don't have to come in, cancel out the process and run it again. It's going to automatically restart the server for us with those changes. Cool. So now let's get rid of this because we don't want to do our routes in this index file. We did this one in the last tutorial just to see how it works, but I want to split our routes up into a different file. Keep them nice and modular. All right, so let's get rid of this. And then you'll see what I've done is create this folder called routes in the root level and this file called API. So go ahead and create that and then open the API.js file. This is where we're going to create all of our routes for our API. So the idea behind this is that if you had different sections of your application, you could create a file for uh, the routes for that section. If you like, you separate your routes into logical components, if you like. So the way we're going to make our routes is we're going to be using the express router class. And this is the thing that is allowing us to make these modular routes. It makes it really easy to keep things organized. Now, this may seem a little long winded at first, but once we get in the swing, it makes life much simpler. And you're going to see all that at the end of this tutorial. So first of all, we're going to need express in this file. We've already got it in this file, but we're going to need it in this file as well. So let's just copy it from here, paste it in here. The next thing we're going to need is the express router. So we'll say, const router is equal to express which is this thing right here which is required dot capital R router parenthesis okay so now this is our router object if you like and what we can do is store or rather mount our route handlers onto this thing right here so instead of saying app dot get this time what we do is say router dot get okay and we can respond to a get request so like I said it's going to become more clear at the end but for now let's just make our routes so our get request first of all we wanted to go to forward slash API forward slash ninjas right but for reasons I'm going to explain later on we don't need to add this API bit in here we just need to add ninjas right and I'll explain why later on so this is the route. So this is going to be for the get request. When we go to forward slash API forward slash ninjas, we want to hand over the list of ninjas, right? So that's for this route. So we'll add in our callback function and pass over the request and response objects. And in this function, we'll do something later on. We'll maybe interact with the database to get the ninjas and send them back to the client. Okay. So we'll just write a little comment above this so we know what we're going to do in here. We'll say get a list of ninjas from the database, right? Okay. So in fact, what we'll do is just say response dot send. And then in here, we'll say type get. So what we're doing is sending back a simple object. So when someone makes a get request to this route, then we're sending back this response, which is just an object to say what type of request they've made, right? Pretty simple. So let us now copy this and I'm going to paste it in three more times and we're going to change these. So the next route I want to set up is to add a new ninja to the database, right? And if we're adding new data, it's going to be a post request. So we'll get rid of that and say dot post instead, not capitals. 
and it's going to be this, to the same route as the get request because we're just adding to the ninjas collection right and in here we'll change this to post and we'll also add in a little comment so we know what we're doing we'll say add a new ninja to the database right okay cool so the next thing we want to do is update a ninja that's already in the database so we'll say update a ninja in the database right and this needs to be a put request because remember put requests are how we update data and it's going to go to forward slash ninja and then forward slash the id right but this is going to be a parameter and i'm going to explain what parameters are later on but for now just know that we need to put a little colon there because this is going to be a variable if you like it's not going to be actually id it's not going to be forward slash um ninjas forward slash id it's going to be forward slash ninjas then whatever the id is right and it's going to change for each ninja so this right here is kind of like a variable it's saying whatever this thing is here pick it up right here and we're going to talk a little bit more about that later on okay so this is going to be a put request so we'll put put in there and then finally what we want to do we want to delete a ninja from the database so let's do a little comment again saying delete a ninja from the database and then this needs to be delete and then this needs to be forward slash colon id again because the same as this it's going to delete a specific ninja and we're going to need the id of that ninja to delete it make sense so let's just change this now to delete so we've set up our four routes now we've set up a route to retrieve a list of ninjas that's a get request we've set up a route to post a new ninja to create a new one in the database okay that's a post request to forward slash ninjas and this is spelled completely incorrectly update a ninja to the database we've created this route a put request to this route right here with this variable id in it and then we've created a delete request so we can delete a ninja from the database again to this route with this variable id in it and each time we're just sending back a simple object with one property inside of it to say what type of request we have made okay so obviously we're going to flesh out these different requests later on to handle them for now we've just set up our base functions our base handlers if you like so what we've done is attach each of these different routes these different methods right here and the callback functions we've mounted them to this router object right here which we set at the top so now what we want to do is allow these routes right here to be used in this index file because if we just save this now and run it then nothing is telling our express app that we're using these routes because our app is being set up right here and this is a separate file it's got nothing to do with it this isn't running right so we need a way to export these routes and then use them inside here so the way we do that is by coming down to the bottom and say module not in capitals dot exports is equal to this router right here so we've mounted all of our routes on top of it and now we're exporting it like that so once we've exported it now we can import it into another file so if we want to use it in here we can just import it at the top of this file so i could say something like const routes is equal to require and then what we want to do is go into this folder right here the routes folder so we'll say dot forward slash to say current directory then the routes folder then forward slash and it's called api.js right there now we just put api we don't need to do js because no js knows that it's going to be a javascript file okay so we've required them now in this file and we can use them now how do we say to our express app that we want to use these routes well we can use a method called use on our app right here okay so if i come down here and say app.use and then put in the routes like so then now this is going to use the routes okay it's going to use the routes we specified here forward slash ninjas forward slash ninjas id etc on our application so now we can navigate to them all right so let me just test this out if i save it and if i go to this first route which is just 
forward slash ninjas, it should return us this thing right here. Yeah. So let's go to forward slash ninjas. Take that off. And now we get that object back. It's saying type equals get. But what did I say before? I said I want it to be forward slash API forward slash ninjas. So I want it to be this first, right? So this needs to be before each route right here. And yeah, we could add them in like that. We could add API on each one. But imagine as we go forth, we have say, I don't know, 20 different routes. We have to manually add API on each one of those. Then that's just a waste of time. Instead, what we can do is inside this use method, we can say forward slash API, like so, as the first parameter, right? Then we pass in the routes that we want to use for this URL. So now what's going to happen is whenever we go to forward slash API, right, anything after this is going to be using these routes right here. So now if I say forward slash API ninjas, it says we cannot get it. That's because I've not saved stupidly. But if I save it, then refresh this. Now we get the type get. Awesome. So I just want to clean this up a little bit more because this seems unnecessary at the top, requiring it in and then using it down here. We're only doing it once. So let's just grab this and paste it here instead of routes. And then we can get rid of that. OK, so we're requiring this module right here and we're using it inside this route. Make sense? So this thing right here, this dot use is the method we use on our app to use any middleware. And middleware is just basically code that runs between the request and the response. And we're going to talk about middleware a little bit in more detail later on. For now, I'm just going to pop a comment here, initialize routes, just so we know what this is doing. Okay, so there we go. We've set up our routes, but Ideally, we want to test them. We need a way to make sure these are all working. We've tested this one from a browser and it works, but we can't test the post, put and delete requests or routes in a browser because the browser only works for get requests, right? So we need a way to test this and we're going to do that using a piece of software called Postman, which is really cool for testing routes. And I'm going to show you that in the very next tutorial.